Sunfall. The Mad King drowns some of us. Us. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. Oh, side with an either. Much for Miss Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. इधर साइड मिशन भी है बट मैं नहीं करने वाला क्योंकि जरूरत ही नहीं है हम अब काफी काफी ज्यादा अपग्रेडेड ऑलरेडी हैं सो फालतू तो टाइम खराब करने की जरूरत नहीं है अब मैं ऑफलाइन बैठ के भी नहीं कंप्लीट करने वाला ये साइड मिशन जो रहेगा ये सो रहेगा ये कहीं आने दो तो अपने पास आप इनफ अपग्रेड हैं स्टोरी कम्प्लीट करने के लिए और बड़े आराम से कम्प्लीट करने के लिए बस ब्लेज चाहिए होंगे ब्लेज हम खरीद लेंगे क्योंकि तो मेरे पास 2600 से ज़्यादा शार्ट्स हैं नहीं 2600 नहीं दो हज़ार दो सौ छियासठ छब्बीस सौ कलर खोल दिया वो मौत से लड़ रहे हैं द सबरिंग प्राउड ट्रेडिशन It's not a missing meridian, at least. Given time, I'm sure they missed. Whoa! अच्छा हुआ मैं इससे लड़ने का कभी फैसला नहीं लिया बे मौत से कब? ये कुत्तों की तरह मारता मुझे. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Outlander. Me time. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Oh, the hurry's going on, my God. At least I think so. Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Carja are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian the Harvas to speak in my behalf. By the will of radiant Edaman, does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid? To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of five hundred shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. Ah. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, got to see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels, the Balustrade. Ah. It's a short drop from there. This boy, it makes quite an impression. इधर से तो नहीं जा सकते. मेरे को नीचे ही जाना है बस. अगर मैं आ किस तरफ गया इधर तो आना ही नहीं था शायद आना तो इधर भी नहीं है तो जाना किधर है इधर जाना नहीं है वापस यस आ चुके दो सेकंड ही मुझे बुला कहा रहे हैं क्लाइम डाउन वाओ वहीं जाना था बस उधर से नीचे कूदना है साइड में लिखा आ रहा है फिर भी पढ़ नहीं रहा हूं मैं उसे कोई ना 
अब चल चलते हैं यहाँ कहीं उतरने के लिए बोला जा रहा है अरे यार ये है तो सही रास्ता और इधर भी मैं जंप कर सकता हूँ है ना क्लाइम डाउन बोला गया है ना मुझे मुझे जाना है फिर इसका मतलब Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Chalo. Kaha? Two second. Arey, mere ko bahar nikalna hai. Sir, yahan se. Aise kam nahi na chalega. रास्ता तो मेरे को मिल ही नहीं रहा कहीं मेरे को भेजा तो नीचे ही जा रहा है बार बार बट एग्जाम ऑप्शन आ तो रहा है यार But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Simmons. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Ah, uh, if we are here, we are. इसका मतलब कुछ खतरनाक लड़ाई हो सकती है साइलेंस के मुताबिक सो so, अगर हम क्या मैं इधर फास्ट ट्रेवल नहीं कर सकता ठीक है मैं अगर वैसे तो देखो मेरे पास सब कुछ है ऑलरेडी सिवाय ब्लेज के ब्लेज अगर मेरे पास अच्छे खासे हो तो मुझे इधर घबराने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है सो so, मैं सीधा जाकर के मर्चेंट से बात क्यों ना कर लूँ नहीं मैं एक बार मर्चेंट के पास होकर के आता हूँ ब्लेज खरीदता हूँ और फिर उससे निपटता हूँ मर्चेंट के दर है चलो चले एंटर नॉट राइट नाउ वाई अच्छा वो कैंसिल करने के लिए आ रहा था ना कैंसिल करना ही नहीं है How the old ones achieved such marvels, only to fall into silence and death—a lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Anora Huntress marched out of the savage east, and voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identity scan. Okay. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Oh, okay. Malfunction. Malfunction. Why? Malfunction. Why? Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's got to be another way. Hey, Elizabeth Snow back here. Requesting access. Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do. Get me through this door. Analyzing primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. कैसी चीज है guess you can't have everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped ओके इसका मतलब हमें धरने के लिए लोग आ सकते हैं यहां पे welcome to project zero dawn Zero Dawn. We found it. 
Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Wait a sec, I have to do all the मैं नहीं चाहता कि मैं कुछ भी छोड़ दूं यहां किसी भी तरीके का रिसोर्स या कुछ भी सब कुछ लूटते हुए जाऊंगा मैं क्योंकि फाइट खतरनाक होने वाली है आगे चलकर Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Okay, now we don't have a question for us that Elizabeth Sobek has done what she has done, that she has stopped it. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it. I have to work for two seconds. We are getting more questions and questions. But if there is no answer, there is no name or name. So let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Then Elizabeth Sobek has stopped all these machines. How did it stop? They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Okay. On guy. Oh, it's level 10. Okay, I'm 
अगर ये भाई साहब इतने ही खतरनाक हैं नहीं ये इधर आ नहीं रहे छोड़ो हम अपना काम करते हैं इन्हें अपना काम करने दो और कुछ ओ नो खाता चलो ओके क्वाइटली ज्यादा झंझट करने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर उस बंदे ने हमला किया तो मैं उस पर हमला करूंगा अदरवाइज शांति में सुमड़ी में निकाल लूंगा ओके रास्ता तो नहीं खुलने वाला ये भाई साहब मिले तो सही रास्ता वास्ता तो देखा जाएगा आइए सर ओ तू यही है देखो क्यों नहीं रहा था फिर ओ नो I'm too close to my tribal crypt to stop us now. The data points. What do they contain? Let's go, Patko. Let's go, Luto. Up, kya? Oh, I can't go here. The guy saw me. Okay, two shots. I hit him. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Here, there are so many. Let's go. I'm asking why. मैं बोल रहा था कि इतने सारे रिकॉर्ड वगैरह क्यों है इधर बट अगर ये जीरो टोन वाली प्लेस है जिधर से सभी रोबोट को रोका गया था तो What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. 
the construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay, so यहाँ पे हुआ क्या है वो बता देता हूँ. Elizabeth Sobek ने कभी उन मशीनों को रोका ही नहीं. उन मशीनों ने पृथ्वी को destroy कर दिया था. But उसने एक ऐसा मशीन, एक ऐसा AI बनाया, जिसने कि पृथ्वी पे कुछ ऐसी मशीनें बनाई, मतलब like हिरण की जगह उन्होंने उसने अब मशीनी हिरण बना दिए मगरमच्छ की जगह मशीनी मगरमच्छ बना दिए और उसने जो है जब सब कुछ खत्म हो गया था तो जो गाया नाम की उसने जो एआई बनाई थी उसने पृथ्वी पे जिंदगी को फिर से पैदा किया हाँ सब कुछ खत्म हो गया था बट उसने फिर से बनाया अब उसके कई सारे पार्ट्स थे लाइक क्या बोलते हैं उसको आर्टिमिस हो गया या पोसाइडन हो गया मतलब ग्रीक माथोलॉजी के जो भगवान हैं उन्हीं के नाम पर जो है इन ए के जो अलग अलग फंक्शन थे बट उनमें से जो हेडीज है हेडीज नाम का जो उसका खुद का फंक्शन है वो किसी तरीके से करप्ट हो चुका है और अब वो गाया की नहीं चलने देना चाहता लेकिन अभी भी एक बात क्लियर नहीं होती कि हेडीज आखिर एलोय को क्यों मारना चाहता है अगर ये गाया का पार्ट है तो इसने जिंदगी के खिलाफ जीवन के खिलाफ में जंग क्यों छेड़ दिया क्योंकि वो तो जीवन बचाना चाहती है जो गाया है अगर ये गाया के साथ है तो आखिर ऐसा क्या हुआ कि उसके खिलाफ हो गया उसी का खुद का प्रोग्राम एलिजाबेथ सोबेक ने अपना काम किया वो हमेशा सबको नहीं बचा सकती बट अगली बार ही एलॉय की है इंट्रूडर गेटर जैसे मुझे तो बहुत शौक लग रहा है ना सबके सब खतरनाक सब वाले हैं ये दो सेकंड सर अगर अभी काम में नहीं आएंगे 
तो कभी काम में नहीं आएंगे ओ नो ग्रेट वो बॉम्ब काम में नहीं आ रहे ये भी नहीं फटा फटा बाटूम टू का असर नहीं हो रहा बहुत ज्यादा अब तो कुछ हो ही नहीं रहा ठीक है फिर कुछ हो ना हो बट मैं इन्हें निपटा दूंगा बॉम्ब बर्बाद हो गए इसका मतलब है एयर ज्यादा इफेक्टिव है इनके खिलाफ ठीक है निकालेदार ये चला अब होगी बराबरी वाली बात ना ये ले आया मजा तभी से आ जाता यार तू एक हथियार मिल जाता मुझे तो मैं वैसे ही निपटा देता इन्हें <laughs> बाद में आया जब आखिरी वाला बताता हूँ अरे यार चलो ये एक और रिकॉर्ड एंड एक और चेस्ट कैन कैरी मोर नहीं जो मिल रहा है वो लूट लो बस बहुत ज्यादा नाटक करने से वो अपनी निकलते हैं दर से इस गेम की स्टोरी को भाई साहब तुम सोचो ना कि मैं क्रेडिट कर लूं भूल जाओ नामुमकिन है एक और पजल इधर से मिल जाएगा बट ये इस पजल में आकर क्या होने वाला है ये पता करना पड़ेगा ना अरे ये तो सीधा सिंपल है बिल्कुल लेफ्ट अप लेफ्ट डाउन राइट लेफ्ट अप लेफ्ट डाउन एंड राइट ओके I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an age emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Park her out. Okay. Yahan karna kya hai? Code mein access. Aur ye kya hai? Emitter. इनको घुमा नहीं सकता ना बस मैं 